Gold has rallied strongly over the last week since breaking above $1,600 as fears around coronavirus start to escalate. Investors had started to take a step back, had started to uh, see the light at the end of the tunnel uh, with regards to the coronavirus as cases in China started uh, to, uh, to decelerate. And yet, now that we're starting to see cases outside of China spiking, uh, uh, with particular focus currently on Italy and South Korea and Iran, now fears are starting to escalate once again. It was viewed at one stage that this was a, a situation that was being well contained within China. The great fear was naturally that it was going to spread outside of China uh, and things would escalate much further but there were little signs that this was actually happening despite the occasional cases that were popping up uh, around the world and it's only really the events of the last few days where we've started to see the number of cases spiking where these fears have now set in and that has been perfect for gold. Gold is a traditional safe haven and while it had been rallying into uh, into these days uh, that was really being driven uh, by the, the, the fear that this was starting to uh, get uh, significantly worse and as, as I say towards the back end of last week and over the weekend those fears did materialise and at the start of the week on Monday we saw stock markets around the world selling off heavily. Europe uh, uh, making losses of around 4%, Italy in particular making losses above 5%. It wasn't just in Europe, though, where we were seeing those declines. We saw it across Asia at the start of the week, and even Wall Street uh, was hit very hard on the opening day of the week. Now, this morning, we have seen uh, we have seen the markets take a bit of a breather. We did see a little bit of a rebound, but already now that's being sold into. We're back in negative territory, and all of this, as I've already said, is positive as far as safe havens are concerned. Now, gold did rally strongly on the back of all of this. We broke through 1600 and it really did surge higher. Uh, shortly thereafter, making strong gains day by day. Now, we've started to run into resistance once again in this 1680, 1700 region. As I say, these are massive gains which we've seen already. So to see some profit taken around these levels, even though uh, we're still seeing plenty of risk aversion in the markets, is not altogether uh, too surprising. I do still think price will continue to be well supported, though, in any pullbacks that we do see, despite the fact that we are seeing a little bit of profit taking, like so, over the past 24 hours or so. This is still a positive environment for gold. And the fact that we are seeing also a little bit of weakness in the US dollar as well. Again, the US dollar was seeing plenty of safe haven flows, but even that has started to pull back over the last few days um, with the yen uh, getting a little bit more uh, support here uh, as far as the safe haven flows are concerned. So the little bit of softness that we're seeing in the US dollar could also prove to be quite supportive for gold, even if, like I say, we have taken a little bit of a step back. We've run into resistance, like I say, around 1680, 1700. I think it was around 60. 1690 was the actual peak here, but I really wouldn't be surprised if we see another run up there over the coming days. The important thing to note here, though, is that this is a constantly evolving situation with regards to the coronavirus. So sentiment can shift day by day. If we have a day when we don't see many cases in terms of any escalation or any spread uh, with, uh, with more countries uh, reporting uh, surges in the number of cases and fatalities, then that could be days when we start to see some profit taking in these uh, in these areas and we start to risk appetite start to return, maybe some uh, sense that things are improving but uh, this, is a, this is a situation that is constantly evolving and therefore if we do see the numbers start to deteriorate and I do think we probably will see some more bad days before we start to see uh, a, a positive uh, switch then that is going to be supportive for the safe havens again and I do think we will probably see another run at that 1700 if 1700 breaks then again above here kind of 1720 1740 has historically been notable areas of support and resistance again the Gold prices do tend to move in these kind of $20 clips. So $17.20, $17.40 has historically been uh, an area of uh, an area of interest, an area of support and resistance, and you would expect that to potentially be the same once again.